I'm chatting with Miss Royal Trinidad and Tobago, Isabel Bisnath, and the reason we're chatting with her today is to talk about Beauty with a Purpose and what she and the Miss Royal Trinidad and Tobago organization is doing. It's been a pleasure working with, with her in the past and it is a pleasure continuing to work with you. But I really want to find out more about this Beauty with a Purpose initiative. What is happening? So the Purple Pine Foundation is my Beauty with a Purpose project. It is an NGO to cater to children who, for various reasons, are excluded from mainstream education in this society. So some of the children that we work with have cancer and as a result they're in and out of various countries because they're undergoing chemotherapy. And so when they come back they just need a safe space where they can learn at their own pace. Similarly we work with children who are on the autism spectrum and need individualized care and attention. There are also children at the NGO who are struggling with their gender identity or their sexual orientation and they have been psychologically traumatized by the bullying that they have received at schools and they've dropped out of school and there is simply nothing in place for them to be able to learn or to be able to spend their time and so I see this NGO as critical for children who may fall through the gaps in our education system that this is a space they can come to and they can learn they can integrate with other children in the society and they can develop as people, develop their passions, learn more about themselves and really blossom as individuals. We don't want as a society to leave people behind because what happens to them? And this building that we're outside mm -hmm. of, it is where the students can come and learn these things? Yes, yes, this is the new home we've, we have for them now. So it's a beautiful property, we've leased it for three years and we are in the process of renovating not only the physical space but like just creating an environment we want to we have a landscape sponsor who's coming in to create a home something that is warm and restorative we are thinking of having a small fountain just something that is healing for children who have gone through extreme trauma in their lives the physical environment is incredibly important for their development this project when was it started Originally, this NGO was founded in 2014 by Marie Colthrust, mm -hmm. and it was formerly known as the Silver Linings Home School. We've decided to change the emphasis and renovate the space and find a new space then. Prior to this, the children were all in one room of a, of a building, and that was simply not enough for 15 children. So we have an, a much nicer space in a lovely area with a playground where they can play several rooms where they can have an art room now, there can be a wellness center, there can be a library and I'm, I am the ambassador for a charity called For the Love of Reading TT so I'm hoping to liaise and create linkages between my various work and have Najmi Khan and Nora Cleghorn involved in this project as well. I'm so excited. And what has it been like working with these young people? Mm -hmm. I, I, and also the organizers. I, I'm sure it must be fun. You probably learned so much about these children. Yes, I did. Oh my gosh, these children are incredibly talented. There's a wonderful girl called Caitlin who is a blossoming graphic artist and she showed me all her work on DeviantArt. And I was amazed. I'd never even heard of DeviantArt before. And it was so great to see all the work that she was doing. There's another child who is an incredibly talented equestrian. She loves horses. She's out riding every weekend. I really see something professional in her future. Every child has their own story like that. There is so much that I've learned from these children moving forward and I'd love to learn even more. I think there's so much that they can teach me. And I know you're working as well. How are you fitting in all of these things? Well, I actually took leave from my job. Oh. Thanks. Thanks, boss. <laughs> so. and, and that is good because you have to balance so many things. Mm -hmm. There is so much to do, not just in terms of this project, which is a full-time project in and of itself. And so we've brought in this amazing project manager, Stevie Jones, to help out. But also the rest of my Miss World Trinidad and Tobago training. I'm doing stage training. I'm working on my talent. I'm doing general everything else that needs to be done. I can't remember offhand right now, but there's just so much to do day in, day out. I'm absolutely packed. When can we expect this to be completed? By the end of September, we'd like to have the children moving in mm -hmm. and we'd like to have a launch party in early October to celebrate. And, and I will be here. Thank you for the invitation. <laughs> By all means, Rishi. What are you talking about? Your invitation's in the mail. Thank Haven't you very much. <laughs> and, and, and I know we're creating a hashtag as well, right? Tell everybody yeah, our new yeah. hashtag. Hashtag Rishi Bell. <laughs>
<laughs> and, and we're doing that, and we're doing that because every time you see Isabel on TTT, I am next to her, mm -hmm. right? And we don't come single anymore. We come as a package, package and so we have our team. own hashtag, <laughs> Rishi Bell. Yes, that's right. I, I like it. But why do you have Rishi in the mix on your T-shirt? I'll have to discuss that with my boss, and we need okay. to change that. We need to change it. Yeah, and we need to be I feel Rishi like Bell. You can't be here saying one thing and doing another. Actions speak louder than words, Rishi. Well, I am in the mix. I am here. I am helping you. And okay, okay, okay. And when for the party, I'll okay. be in the mix there too. Okay. And, and so it could be hashtag Rishi in the mix. Okay. Hashtag Rishi Bell. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's have two hashtags. Okay. Yeah. And, yeah. And we get the population involved as well because people. I hope people remember that because you're also an attorney. Yeah. Is it four languages that you speak? Yes, uh, well, three apart from English. So it's point total. <laughs>